Rules of the Road Part 3. This video covers Passing a parked van Zebra crossings Pelican crossings Toucan crossings Box junctions The stop sign Being instructed to stop Footpaths Oh man, seriously! How have I managed to go the wrong way again? Don't worry Ben, you're in an area that you haven't driven in before. The best thing to do in these situations is to find a side road and turn around. Don't try to attempt turning around on a busy road. OK Ben, you're going to need to pass the van up ahead. You'll need to give way to oncoming traffic until you can safely pass. Don't forget to signal when you pull out to pass. OK. Look, there's a junction ahead. Let's pull in there and turn around. Right, back on track again. Straight ahead here, Ben. Be careful of the zebra crossing ahead. There's someone waiting to cross. OK, yep. If you're approaching a zebra crossing and someone is waiting to cross, you should stop wait and let them cross. You should also give way if the amber light is flashing when at a pelican crossing. And remember, at a toucan crossing, both pedestrians and cyclists can cross. Ah, a box junction. I came across one of these whilst I was out with Mum. Excellent. Can you remember the rules you need to adhere to? Um, so you can only enter a box junction if your exit is clear? And you can only wait in them if oncoming traffic prevents you from turning right. That's correct. Shall I go straight ahead? Yes. Make sure you come to a complete stop at the junction and check carefully. I will. You must always come to a complete stop when there is a stop sign. You should also stop when instructed by a police officer, red traffic lights, school crossing patrol, or if you have been involved in an incident involving damage or injury. You should also stop when signalled to do so by a traffic officer on a motorway. Looks like there's a shop to the left. Shall we take a break and grab a drink? Sounds good to me. Just be careful of the pedestrians. Will do. Footpaths are for pedestrians. It is illegal for road vehicles to drive on or obstruct footpaths unless they are crossing over them to gain access to or exit a property. You should therefore not park on the pavement. Bear in mind that wheelchair users and prams will also need to use footpaths, so they need to be able to pass freely. Right, let's get going again. Are you okay to drive, Ben, or would you like me to take over for a bit? I'm okay. Okay. What do those road markings mean again? The solid white line indicates that the other carriageway should not overtake. That's it. You also shouldn't park or stop when you see these markings unless you are picking up or dropping off passengers, as you'd cause an obstruction. Dad, what in the world do they mean? I've never seen those road signs before. They warn of a concealed level crossing, so be prepared to stop. OK. If you are waiting at a level crossing and a train has already passed, but the lights continue to flash, you should carry on waiting. If the lights begin to flash whilst you're driving over the crossing, keep going and clear the crossing. 
We're almost there now, Ben. I would suggest parking away from the stadium and walking in, as it will be manic. Guess what? It's time to recap. Passing a van. Give way to oncoming traffic until you can safely pass the vehicle. Signal when you pull out to pass the vehicle. Zebra crossings. You should stop, wait and let pedestrians cross if they are waiting to cross. Pelican crossings. Give way if the amber light is flashing. Toucan crossings. Both pedestrians and cyclists can cross. Fox junctions. Only enter if your exit is clear. Only wait in them if oncoming traffic prevents you from turning right. Stop sign. Always come to a complete stop. You need to stop if instructed by a police officer, a traffic officer, red traffic lights, school crossing patrols and if you have been involved in an incident involving damage or injury. Footpaths. It's illegal to drive on and obstruct footpaths unless you are crossing over them to gain access to or exit a property. Do not park on the pavement. Wheelchair users and prams also use footpaths, so they need to be able to pass freely.